2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Luke, this player is trailing currently, but let's face it, there's so much golf left to be played. I really think if they stay the course and continue playing the way they are, they've got a great chance of getting a victory here. Can't wait to find out what happens here. And let's see what he can do here today. That was wonderfully done. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Saver coming up for this fella. Good putt, that. Currently has a share of second place. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. From about 100 yards. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. They're lining up the birdie putt here. was a gallant attempt and with that you can go and put a par on the card currently 14 under for the event welcome to this hole it's a par four That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the third. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. A 
that's well played pin high and this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event Ouch, that hurts. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And that finds him in a share of second. This hole is a long par four. That should find the cut stuff. Second shot here on the fourth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. That's not what they were looking for. And coming up well short. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Seven feet to the cup. And in it goes for the par. Trailing by four strokes. We find ourselves on a par three here. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. About 23 feet to the to the cup, guys. That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Our current leader is up by three shots. This hole here is a par four. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Opting for the nine iron. Yep, that'll work. That's fine.
Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Sitting at minus 14 now for the event. Teeing off here at the seventh. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. <laughs> Playing this one about 130 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. <laughs> and not a bad approach. He'll be putting. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. This one's dialed in. And that will drop in for birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Going with a three wood here. We need this one to bounce right. That's not the outcome they were after. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Can make this one. It's for par. Now fall back after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Was a little loose. Don't expect a good lie here. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. A oh, lovely looking shot in the birdie range here at the ninth. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in fourth place. He 
You've arrived at a par four. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not taking enough club to get it there. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's got a chance. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. It's time to begin this par four hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Currently four shots off the pace. Just needs this one to kick right. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another... That's the right pace. This should drop. The old-fashioned hammer hands. That'll ruin any putter's stats. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, just missed. Bogey putt coming up here. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That was a stonker there. Playing from 110 yards out. Five strokes behind our leader. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, oh, that's beautifully judged. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard.
teeing off here on the 13th hole. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And here we are with the third shot. Three strokes off the lead. Oh, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole-in-one. to have opted for the eight iron. A wonderful shot into 14 and sets up another look at birdie. This one's online. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Trailing by four strokes. And the player steps up to this short par four. Good looking shot this. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. I gotta say his short game is one of the best in the game. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. Coming off a string of three birdies. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Left yourself an opportunity. Outside chance here for the birdie. Thought that had a chance. And tapping it in for par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Here we have a short par five, a chance to take advantage.
This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16. So most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy. There's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Nine feet to the cup. Not a bad line, this. And that'll be a bogey. Our current leader is up by three shots. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Opting for the six iron. Good shot there. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Just missed the birdie. That's a shame. Yeah, not much to sweat there. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Third shot now. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to have hit a shot of that calibre. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Not a bad shot, that one. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two-putt here is still good. All good putters accelerate through the ball. 
Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. And that will do it for this player today. And as this round comes to a close, he finds himself in a share of fourth spot. One round to go, Luke. I'm hoping that it provides as much energy as the first rounds have. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.